What's up, everybody? This is Anger Hippie Lady, and we are back here in Fallout New Vegas, and we're gonna go talk to Carlitos and tell him oh that Joanna wants to escape. Wait, is this where he is? Is this really it? Oh, he's in somewhere else. Why is he in the tops? He's not in the tops, is he? Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Hmm. Why do you need my guns? Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry, your safest house is in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. <laughs> From my cold, dead hands. Okay, quick save while game is paused. Dang it. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? I wish uh, Cass's shoulder wasn't in the way so I could actually see what's going on. Or see him. Uh, where'd you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safest houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. What is there to do here? Everything your little art desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. All right. Have a good time, baby. Stop calling me baby. I'm gonna look at his face. Hey, there's the high roller. Swank. Hey, you baby. Good to see you. Oh, why? Always nice to have a celebrity drop by. Uh, who are you? Baby, I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Name's Swank. This here's my joint. Thought Benny ran this place. Benny oversees the business, sure, but I run the tops day to day. I'm his right hand guy, you dig? Uh, sure, whatever. I'm looking to make a few extra caps. Got any jobs in need? Baby, done? you stick with me, you won't have to work a day in your life. Don't fret about caps. You just sit there and look pretty for me. Get out! Too good to me. How about some caps to buy myself something pretty? Mm, what does Black Widow mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I dig the way you think, doll. Here, go treat yourself. Yeah, it's a hundred caps. It's all right. Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? Uh, what's the story with the White Glove Society? Creepy bunch of cats, you ask me. Ah, oh, sure, they act all polite and civilized, but there's something off about them, you dig? Don't get me wrong. That resort of theirs is ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Let's talk about something else. Sure, whatever you want. Nice place you got here. Tell me about it. The tops? Yeah, sure, you want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front... Fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? I don't think you're going to like it. Seems Benny's making his own play. Huh? What are you talking about? Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip. I was hired to deliver. That doesn't... Why would he pull a stunt like that? Got anything else to offer? He tried to make it look like an accident. Just a traveler killed and robbed in the wasteland. He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Crazy bastard. You got any more? That's it. What do you think? Got more evidence that proves Benny tried to kill me. Benny must... Think the chip will allow him to seize power on the strip. Jesus, kid, I think we got a real problem on our hands. 
Can't believe Benny's a no good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors. Can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. Uh, all right. Groovy, here's your stuff back. In case you run into company, you dig. I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on then. Elevators to pass the slot machines on your left. Wow, it's that easy? Wait, I'm over encumbered? Did he really just say that? No, I'm not. It's a theater. Elevators are on your... In the back on your left? Is that what he said? I wasn't listening. <laughs> I was busy getting money out of them and... Inaccessible, inaccessible. Is this an elevator over here? Well, it's different, but it's not an elevator. Courtyard. I'll go there later. Elevator is out of order. What? Are all the elevators out of order? Well, then how am I supposed to get up there? He's told me to take an elevator. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Game wanted to force me to take one elevator. This seems like a setup. Alright, so I'm looking for some double doors here. Hey, right, anybody ever see some double doors? I'm trying to talk like you guys so you guys, uh, know what I'm saying. We're hunting shitheads. Okay, I get in. I get in here. Alright, close the doors. Cass, you better face through those do doors, girl. You better close that door behind you. Close it behind you. Alright, there we go. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. I bet it's like by his bed. Alright, uh, nothing in here. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Oh, I bet it's not gonna be in here. I bet it's not gonna be in here. He's already, like, sold it. Or he's not keeping it in his room. Because that'd be stupid. Introduce myself. I'm a PDQ 88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man? What kind of name is that? Shouldn't you be working for Mr. House? How'd you end up here? As I understand it, I used to be just like all those other Securitrons out on the strip. But then my neurocomputational matrix was completely reprogrammed to be nice. Very, very nice. Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Have you seen Benny? He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. <laughs> That's great. Uh, what's Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh! He wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitrons. 
hand, then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! You're very forthcoming with that information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Yeah, pretty dumb. But if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny, Benny reprogrammed it. Yeah. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. What are the details of the plan, Benny Re uh, yeah. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Say, Mr. House was going to suffer an accident, how would that happen? So I should ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Wh which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Cons, and the Brotherhood of Steel. So are the tribes I should get to know. Of course, ask away. What do you know about the Boomers? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat, wouldn't it? I'll get back to you about the boomers. Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? Um, tell me what you know about the great cons. The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. How have the Great Cons been kicked around? They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. I need to take more time with the Cons. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? What do you know about the Ormetas? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Do you know anything else about them? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. I know enough about the Ormetas, I know I want them left alone. I'll check out the Metas some Whenever more. Whenever you get around to it will be just fine. Anything else I can help with? This is so creepy. I know. What do you know about the White Glove Society? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them though. He said they were creepy. I'll let you know when I'm done evaluating the Don't hurry on society. my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? Where should I look for the Brotherhood of Steel? Some of Mr. House's dad has said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. 
What do you think about... What do you know about the Brotherhood of Steel? They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. I'm not ready to decide. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? Let's see, let's talk about something else. Whatever you say. Uh, let's talk about the tribes. Uh, no, Benny reprogrammed a secure secure John all by himself. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside, but that's all I remember. What is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. So something about a bunker at the fort. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. I'll go check it out. Neat. Let me know what you find out. Oh, God, there's so I just got like three quests from this guy. Um let's see, say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident, how would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. I have. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've seen the inside. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. Uh, where, what do you know about the courier Benny shot? Oh, I want to know both of these. I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip? Just in the last year alone, of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> That's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Where's the platinum chip? Benny carries it with him at all times. I think he's paranoid that someone might want to take it from him. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Once you get the platinum chip, what then? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kapow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done, and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. No, I don't want to take over Mr. House, I don't think. I don't know, let's talk about the tribes. My, uh, goodbye. Hope to see you soon. So, Benny carries the chip on him. Great.
Do anything say anything? No. Okay. So I've got to go and pickpocket Benny. Great. What's this? What is this? This is interesting. This is weird. Cass, don't don't attack anybody this time, okay? Okay. Okay, can't go in there. Take an elevator to sub basement. Christ key. I don't have the key. What's that? Oh, it's just a a broken light or something. Could you get out of the way? Alright, this is interesting. So I guess I gotta go talk to my friend downstairs and see if he knows anything. Sure, let's go in here. See if there's anything worthwhile. Nope. Nope. It's just really no point in me sneaking around. I think they already know I'm up here. Maybe. I don't know. They might not. They might not know I'm up here. You he... dig this crazy scene or what? It's a chairman. Looks like you dig this crazy scene or what? I don't know what's so special about the chairman, but they're up here and they don't care that I'm up here. Where's key? How's it hanging? Um, hmm. Alright, well let's, um... I guess let's go back downstairs and talk with our friend. Go to the main floor. And be like, hey, Benny has the chip on him at all times. Are you Benny? No. Our friend should be right up here. Hello. Swank. Get back. Find anything? Benny has reprogrammed a Securitron. He's trying to take over the strip. He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? I thought maybe I'd talk to the man, see if we can work out a deal. There's only one solution. I'm gonna take him out. Not sure yet. I have some other questions first. Sure. What you need? <sighs> Don't be a stranger, doll. That's better than you ready to baby. deal with Benny yet? Um, yeah, send him up to his room. I'll take care of him. Yeah, sure. I hope you know what you're doing, kid. I don't. Don't be a stranger, doll. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. And I... I don't support this decision that I am making without even being fully informed. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I'm just walking around the edge Looks seeing like if the there's anything to, too. to this place look at or whatever. Day, yeah. But thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, everyone.